Hello, hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome, Ascended Stars. This is Ali Jade bringing you your got to know forecast. I just got to know. Um, it's a mini love reading. I'm offering it now on Snapchat, so I want to just share it with you. And um, these are fun. These are fun to do. I'm excited. Okay. So what's happening? What's happening between you and that significant other, that lover for Scorpio? Who's turning you on these days, huh, baby? Um, okay. What do they feel? What is that person who you really like? Uh, makes you smile? Or makes you cry whichever whichever one you want so you pick your poison um okay what do they feel for scorpio scorpio what does this significant person feel for the scorpio please share please reveal what's the energy for when they think of a scorpio person and that sexy, sensual, lovely energy that they carry and their vibrance. There you go. Okay, and then what are they going to do about the way they feel for Scorpio? There you go. Got it. Okay, those are the important. Those are the big players. All right, so let's see what we got. Scorpio, how do they feel about you? The Emperor they feel like they need to be in control oh yeah and they because they, they they feel that fire you know mars is your ancient co-ruler and they feel that fire within and they're like i got to tame that fire so they're really enthralled with you they really um you know i got this energy with virgo i feel they want to possess you you know they want to own you with virgo i got they want to own you but with you i get they want to possess you and it's funny because scorpio is about you know that energy of having possession yeah here they go it, it's a little bit of a wild energy okay it's a little bit of an untamed energy and here's the dichotomy of the way they feel for you they want to be in control of how they feel for you that that's like key that's like massive like importantly important to them but most of the time they're just out of control they don't know how to control this passion they don't know how to control this feeling for you and we're gonna get deep in okay it's gonna be all we're gonna get deep into it so uh, i'm feeling stuff but i don't want to be like because this is a general but let's see um let's let's see what what's what's stopping What's stopping this person the way that they feel about uh, expressing themselves? What's stopping this person from expressing themselves to the Scorpio? Why are they not revealing this to them? The Four of Swords. They've been through some shit. <laughs> They've been through some shit. Sorry for my uh, I, I, Scorpio. You know I'm going to be getting down with you guys. All right, so... Um, yeah, they, they're feeling something that's like pickling, pickling them, you know, like stabbing them. I feel like it's stabbing them in the rib, in the rib cage and stuff. They're, they're, they're like, mm, they're a little pickled. Okay. So they ain't coming towards you because they, they've been dealing with some, their own stuff, their own energy. That is, I don't feel it's a good energy. I don't feel it's a good energy. I feel it's like, um, they need to make peace with this stuff that, that, well, I don't know what they did. They know what they did. You might know what they did, but they, they, they're they not um, at peace. They're not in a pay, place of peace. So they can't come to you with peace if they don't have peace. What's hidden? What's hidden from the Scorpio? What What's hidden? What what uh, can we share with the Scorpio um, be, that's behind the scenes that they don't know about regarding this partner? What can you share that's behind the scenes that they don't know is going on in the life of this partner? What can you tell us, Spirit? What can you tell us regarding what Scorpio does not know regarding the life 
of the partner, the significant person, this lover, this um, this energy of of who they care about, who they're asking about. That was hard, man. That that card did not want to come out. <laughs> it's truly hidden. <laughs> Six of Cups. They they think of you and they think of these wonderful times that they've had with you and um, beautiful memories that they've made and they hold that close to their heart and they 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 have a reverence a reverence for it. Okay, I don't know how strong that reverence is. We'll find out. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they know you're a good person. Okay, they know that um, you got it going on, and that you have a lot of love to give, and that you're very capable. You're, you're, you're. They see you as someone very capable. Okay, they see you nostalgically, and they see you in as someone independent. Okay, this could be why they're not really there for you as well, like in the in the three D in the physical, because you're someone who's got your shit together. Okay, so maybe they feel like they need to go to other people to rescue them. You don't need rescuing. You don't need rescuing. You are your own hero. Okay, you have conquered your own fears you've gone through the night of the soul you've done a lot of work on yourself and this person sees you at a distance okay because this is time this is the past and they see you from a distance and they still don't see you i don't think they see you i don't think they see you like the who you really are because you're not the queen of pentacles you are the queen of cups but um or the king of cups if you're a male but they see you as somebody responsible reliable dependable okay but this is in the past all right so maybe they sit the, the tick tock tick tock time is ticking and as time keeps ticking they feel further and further away from being able to come close to you okay so then we're going to have the question what are they going to do what's the next step they're going to do they have we have the empress and we have the knight of cups okay i'm not crazy about this energy folks basically because um well a doing card for the empress is not really a doing card because the empress just values herself okay so maybe he, this person's going to work on their on, on uh, acquiring more self-value for themselves to be able to even speak to you to even like say hi i feel like there's a lot of um there, again an incubation period here where they're working on their self-value and until they can build that own self-value and their own selves up they're not able to communicate their feelings okay and and um and take action so for some of you you will hear from this person and they will say beautiful things to you and they will uh really pump you up and make you feel good but they're not going to be manifesting because it's an incubation time so it's not going to be happening it could be up to nine months <laughs> because the empress is here but um, within the next nine months too. Now, this person is, is immature, emotionally not able to evolve. Um, all of the water signs are very emotionally evolved so that it, it's hard to be with those who are not. And uh, you play a waiting game. So what, what's the outcome? The high priestess. Oh, I don't like this energy as the outcome, but I mean, I love the high priestess. Um, so this as the outcome, and let's look at the, let's look at this one too. Let's get a passion. Okay, so they have a lot of passion for you, Scorpio. Here it is. Again, this passion is is a little uh jarring to them i think like a little like 
They don't want to be in that state of passion because it gets them out of control. And they like to have control. They need to have control. Whatever that in their mind that control is, whatever that aspect is, okay? Um, because I think in the past they've gotten out of control and now this um, Four of Swords, they're resting, they're re recouping, they're trying to gain back their power, their essence, their vitality because it took a lot out of them, okay? And so now we have the High Priestess as the outcome and they've been granted the key to life secrets. The High Priestess finds you worthy and she can reveal these secrets to you now. So he he or she is going through a time kind of the night of the of, of the dark soul uh, of the long the dark night of the soul because secrets are coming now and being revealed and it's trickling in slowly. Slow process the next two weeks. Um, so let's get another let's get another card for the outcome. So let's get a clarity card. Oh, let me do the um, reversal deck. I want to know why this card, the High Priestess, came in as the outcome. She's very mysterious. She holds the secrets to life. She's confident. She trusts her intuition. Um, she cannot be moved. She cannot be swayed. She, she trusts herself. Okay, so until this person gets to the place of where they trust themselves, so moving from this energy to this energy is like phenomenal, like like a huge leap, okay? Moving from this energy to this energy is like, wow. Like, I don't know if that's going to happen in two weeks. Um, there's a major arcana. She holds secrets. That one is traumatized and, and holds doubt and fear and trauma. So it's like a huge jump. Okay, so let's see. Let's give me a clarity card for the High Priestess Spirit. Give me a clarity card. Give me a clarity card for the High Priestess. Okay, what do we have for the High Priestess? Why is she here for the Scorpio reading? Okay. Um, Emperor again. But we got him in reverse this time. So the Emperor in reverse, let's look and see what they say. This book's a little different. All right, so the Emperor in reverse is saying, you bear your responsibilities well, and you can be justifiably proud of what you have accomplished. But the strictness with which you go about your duties is taking a toll on you. Not everything has to be set in stone. Leave some room for grown and for growth and change. If you are afraid to face the darker parts of yourself, you won't be able to help others with their own darkness. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. This makes so much sense when you put it together with the high priestess. The secrets of life are being revealed, but you're not entering that chamber. You're not entering that doorway. That your your partner is not entering that room of knowledge of higher consciousness. They are not walking through the door. Sorry. They live from a place of they have to be in control at all times. And you know that's not possible. In love, it's so much about being out of control and trusting and um using your intuition and they have this need to have control so that's a bit of a narcissistic energy okay so i'm going to be really honest with you the secrets to life are here for them they, the, the the high priestess is here to say i need you to come to me i will reveal the secrets i will tell you what's happening i will share why you've gone through the, the history that you have but they're not walking through the door they don't they don't want to change they're stubborn they're fixed and they don't want to listen they don't they want it their way they want control how they've always done they want things how they've always done things that's that's the way we do things here it's always been done that way we're always going to do it that way very stubborn energy okay um 
and that's why they have this passion you ignite this passion and then they go into that plutonian stage of like that nuclear with you but um in separation right now this is mainly for my ones who are in separation right now yeah so let's continue i've been i've been going on for 15 minutes let me give you some oracle guidance it's a really good read i really enjoyed that one that one's really intense uh i'm gonna do the ethergy deck let's do that for you scorpio okay and this is um my new snapchat and i'm loving snapchat i think it's so cool um okay so let's see what we have for guidance for you scorpio moving forward in the next two weeks regarding this uh situation strategy okay so you gotta take control of your life take the reins and what what are you going to do now you know moving forward um and this is just prioritize and strategize for your life okay let that person do what they got to do they're not at that level yet um take care of you take care of your heart take care of your needs take care you know what makes you happy what what brings you joy um it's a 44 which is an eight it's a cycle cycle of self-care how are you going to move who, who's going to take care of number one you right now scorpio that's really priority and your money your money right now is really key um a lot of scorpio is going through you know for i'm just i just pick up the eighth house it's about your finances right now it's getting back in order um taking care of your your money i do feel like taking care of your money is is what is priority right now for the next two weeks because then we're going to have airy season and then everything's going to be moving ahead yes jupiter's going retrograde but um there's still that action so take action right now not the passion not the love time finances is really what's what's in in store for you so that way it won't you know things won't you can nip it in the bud like i feel like preventative stuff is happening right now for you so this is what you need to do is take care of yourself self-care take care of yourself take care of your money um and make yourself priority okay beautiful beautiful feminine energy for you scorpio maybe you want to be around more females and you know get that that nurturing um, vibe for you too thank you for watching i appreciate you and we will be in touch for the april forecast um and if you want more info please just click on the box below show more bye bye